The wind caresses my cheek. I push down on the pedals and begin the ascent up to Harumi Bridge. The spokes resolve rhythmically, reflecting the sunlight. Sweat oozes out every pore, but not unpleasant. Feels good, healthy, like running around the school field as a child. Why are they so nice? <laughs> Why'd I have to come along? Same. Yeah. The winds. Strong. You're a little chubby, Darukun. I think you need to exercise more. That neckbeard master race. Leading the way at a terrific pace, it soothes her on a trusty mountain bike. What a view! From here, you can see across Tokyo Bay, all the way to Rainbow Bridge in the distance. Except for Susa, we're all using renter bikes. I wanted a change of pace on the search for an unfindable pin, so I proposed this cycling expedition. I thought it was would waste of time at first. I'd rather be working on a time machine. That just proves I belong indoors. We should all worn out. Come on, guys, damn is the key. Grease and Dow are exhausted, like Suzuha and Mayori are still going strong. I always know the distance between Akiba and Ariake, so I'm able to pace myself in order to conserve energy. Oh, a vending machine, need a glass of water. And do it. Everyone turns to look for me. Do it. Kill someone. Why so serious, man? Oh. Come on. What are you waiting for? If you want to do it, then do it. Hey, Okabe. What's got into you? Okabe, you shouldn't say things like that. What's up with you, man? Nothing. There's a convenience store once you pass two bridges. Tough it out. Really? That's far enough thought. Hundreds of days have passed since this began. Maybe thousands. How many cycles has it been? I repeated this loop so many times I've grown tired of keeping track. I can barely remember the reason I started. But days go by like tearing pages from a calendar. Everyone says the same things, everyone responds in the same way. I've noticed my biorhythms seem a bit off. But aside from that, every day is the same. Same, 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 same! Yes, subtle devi deviations occur. But it's all within acceptable limits. In the end, the result is always the same. Everything that happens is insignificant. Meaningless, pointless. I'm the only one still living in this loop. Everyone else is just being kept alive. By me. We're just spinning over wheels in the dead world. My soul died some cycles back. I don't remember. This isn't life. Me always deaf. America's raid. Sue says time travel. I may have cared about those things once. Not anymore. When did I stop caring? When did I become a machine, looping and looping for all eternity? Knowing matters. When these two days are over, I'll start again. Everything will be reset. I will reset it myself. And I guess it's pointless to worry. Ridiculous. How many times have I repeated this loop? My senses have gone dull. It's getting harder to respond to the things I see and hear. I feel detached like I'm isolated inside a thin membrane. And I've already gotten used to it. I don't find it inconvenient anymore. I simply adapted. I simply optimised. To this far too narrow world. To this far too gentle world. Why shouldn't I adapt? This is my world. <gasps> ah, I quit cycling. Dao's used up a lot of strength. While suddenly his bike he rests his body against the guardrail, separating us from the road. I turn my bike and watch him passively. <laughs> Whoa! I know jokes away from a rail. A split second later, a truck house passed. Daryl loses his balance and falls on his butt. Oh, oh, that was close. Hey, are you okay? Are you hurt? 
Cruiser and Susan get off her bicycles and help Daru up. Ah, that truck was mean. The truck has already crossed the intersection after the bridge. We watch it drive away. <sighs> Man, what a shock. What's with that guy? Crazy drivers, I should have checked the number. Man, I could like me like to report it. So report him. The truck's number smoothly rolls off my tongue. I've seen it so many times like a brand on my brain. There. Now you know, report him. I have my phone out. Did I do something don't go in? You said you wanted to report him, so I'm giving you the opportunity. My turn is flat. I'm just saying whatever comes to mind. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I agree that Hashida should be a little less lazy, but you're going way too far. Shut up, you class rep wannabe. What? No fighting, guys. Daru's okay, so let's be happy. I ignore Miyori and should my soul at Daru. You're not going to report him? Well, I guess I'm letting him off this time. I sigh and put away my phone. Sue's her staring at me again. She knows what's up, isn't doesn't she? She looks like she wants to say something, but who cares what she thinks? I fear nothing. The tired Krisu. The re-energized Daru. And the ever energetic Miyori repeat the same conversation I've seen hundreds of times. We may go to search for a restaurant. <laughs> I turn my back to them and walk towards the ocean. But Suza stands in front of me, blocking my way. Her eyes bore into mine. I try to pass without saying anything. But she cuts me off. I see a sincere concern in her eyes. They can no longer sway my heart, and I do not even a little. Hey. Wasn't there a movie about a guy who gets trapped in some kind of time loop? What? What the hell is she talking about? Groundhog Day, right? It was like a hundred years old when I saw it. But movies in my time were boring. Certain propaganda, you know? So we watch old movies instead. Like Groundhog Day. Never heard of it. It was pretty unsatisfying. I was trying to brush her off, but Suze keeps talking. I mean, Blue Pen's never here are really doing anything, like, becomes a good person and suddenly happy ending. Kind of dumb, really. You're trapped in loop too, aren't you? All of us are. Say something, Akabe you've been through. You've been here before, haven't you? Her gaze seems to pierce through everything. I find myself blinking involuntarily. And my eyes drop to my feet. What are you talking about? A hoarse voice leaks from the back of my throat. It doesn't sound like my own. I saw Big Sight for the first time today. But this isn't the first time I've seen it. I feel my heart skip a beat. I'm just overthinking it. Word games? We've come here before, haven't we? You experienced it this day a number of multiple times, haven't you? How many times? Answer me! Suddenly, Suza seizes my arm. You have the eyes of a dead man. I know those eyes. Everywhere you look in my time. Look at me, Akabe Rintaro. Don't kill your soul. Slowly, feelings rise. From the depths of my heart, like an old machine grinding back to life. Maxi Cruz was soon to recreate a time link machine. You've been using it to repeat the past, haven't you? What if I have? Why are you doing this? Who knows? The reason no longer matters. What are you running from? So. Running? Yeah. I'm running. Running from Miyori's death. That's why I'm going, why I'm going to 1975. I'll bring you the 5100. And then you can... 
いいや。No, you fail. お前は失敗する。<笑> What? そして。Then, out of twenty-five lonely, meaningless layers, you hang yourself. What? But. That's why I'm hiding, Miss Loop. Certainly、so、you, nor Mayuri, will die. That's it. Mayuri mo. That was a reason. O mae mo. I entered Miss Loop, resolved to save him. My resolve was long since turned to dust. As long as I peep these two days, nothing changes. Nobody dies. I accept that duty to keep everyone alive. That's only your perspective. The world continues in a view independent of you. No matter how many thousands of loops you make, Shunami Yui will still die. It's not a solution. Yeah. My lips twist in a self-deriding smile. I'm not looking for a solution. Do you intend to keep looping forever? Yes. I accepted that duty. You haven't accepted anything. Can't you see it's how twisted you? Twisted you? No matter what happens to me, this world will continue. The loop will continue. No matter how many, no matter what happens, the loop will not end. How long can you endure living in frozen time? You can't keep this up forever, do you know? Your body may die, but look at yourself. Your soul is already hanging by a thread. But what else can I do? I don't have it in me to sacrifice anyone. You, Miyuri, you're my friend. I can't lose either of you. She hangs her head with a sorrowful expression. Is interrogation over? I try to end the conversation by walking towards the sea again. But she grabs my hand to stop me. You have more to say? Did I really hang myself? Yeah. Did I really fail in my mission? Yeah. She bites her lip and hangs her hangs her head. Maybe I shouldn't have told her the truth, but it doesn't really matter. If I time loop again, this conversation will never have happened. In that case, will you come with me? Okabe Rintaro. What? Will you come with me? To seventy-five. That's the last thing I expected to hear. Go with her to seventy-five. What will happen if I go? You can help me so that I don't fail. And maybe we'll find another way to change the future. Is that possible? My heart beats. My eyes open. Color returns to the world. The world line might shift in a completely unanticipated direction. What you know is the present may change dramatically. The future gadget lab might not exist in the future, mate. Shinami Yori, Hashida Itaru, Maxi Kurisu might not even ever be born. Even if they are born, they might be different people with different names. But we go to 75. We'll have 35 years before we reach the tender versions. I don't know how we'll change the world line. We have plenty of time to prepare. If you're okay with that, then why not come with me? To tell you the truth, I want someone to come with me. Someone. In other words, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be me. So, come with me. Save me. I don't want to go knowing I'll fail. I don't want my death to be meaningless. I want to save you too. I can't bear to see you like this. Will you continue with this loop until your soul is ground to nothing? Once that happens, time will start moving again, and the ending of this burning will occur. When your soul finally dies, Shinami Yuri will die too. I will fail and hang myself, all according to schedule. 
What are you doing? It's nothing but slow suicide. You're willing to go that far? Then come with me instead. Save me. I. Hands my clock stopped ticking long ago. Now, slowly, if I begin to move forward again, I'll go. I'll go with you. Please, take me with you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I should have noticed sooner. She gently embraces me, as if to warm my frozen heart. Wind blows. The clouds flow and change shape. Sunset. The sky is so terribly orange. The colour of dawn. The colour of dusk. The colour of a world's end. The colour of a world's beginning. While Darrow was repairing the time machine, I let my mind rest. I avoided all contact, slept like a log, and tried to piece my soul back together. On the afternoon of the 13th, I received a word that the repairs are complete. I sent an email, calling all my members to a meeting. Then, as anyone else gathers the lab, I head to Radican alone. Two sisters waiting there, standing before the time machine with a glistening eye. She gives me one last warning. Remember, this time machine only goes one way. Once we leave, there's no coming back. Even so, will you still come with me? I slowly nod. And you? Are you sure about this? There's a good chance we'll both lose our memories during the leap. You said it took me 24 years to remember. But this time I have you. Something might change. Wishful thinking. Does that mean you're backing out? I'm going no matter what. No. I've made up my mind. I don't know how it will turn out. We're certainly at a disadvantage. But still, I never thought I'd be so thankful not to know what's coming next. So stimulating. Since shivers down my spine, I feel like I'm actually here. Did you tell everyone? I bid them farewell. Mayori, Daru, and Kurisu. I left them each in a handwritten letter. The lab is probably chaos by now. I also mailed letters to my parents and friends at school, telling them not to look for me. My parents will probably be sad, but this time I'm not running away. I want to believe I'm not running away. You know? She finally smiles through her eyes shine when she had tears. It's kind of like we're eloping. There's nothing to feel guilty about. In fact, I want to thank you, Suzuha. If you hadn't invited me, I'd still be in the loop, living like a corpse. So, thank you, Suzuha. Let's fight to change the future. Together. Yeah. We clasp our hands. Susa's grip is so strong, it kind of hurts. But that pain tells me that I'm alive. Nobody sends us off. No one could. This is a one-way trip through time. Once we go, there's no going back. 1975. That's before I was even born. We're heading for a past, no. For a future that is yet to be written. Not the world line Susan her left. Nor the world line she desired. We are reaching for an entirely new future. <laughs> Our eyes meet. Our hands clasp tightly. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. The time has come for us to depart. Our mission, to change 35 years of history. We boldly lift our heads, ready to challenge fate, together. Okay. That was, um, anti-climax. 
I've got happened to music there. I might have to add this on to the end of the last episode, to be honest. So, what actually happened? I imagine that's where Steins Gate Zero jumps in, isn't it? Well, if you can read Japanese, thank you to all these people. I will be honest, I really didn't expect this to end this point. I never lose by the fact that I started a new episode right at this point. But really, I'm going to have to add this on to the end of the episode, if it is the end of the episode. I don't know what's going to happen now, though. Let's start Of course, they do read Japanese. I'm sure to thank all these people. If you don't, well, you ask what it says. I can read 5 PB. Reversible reboot completed. What's that mean? CG library, music library, movie library. Okay, um, clear list. Uh, is that her ending, I wonder? Reversible reboot? Yeah, reached endings one. That's interesting. I'm probably not going to play it again on on YouTube anyway. I'm probably going to be playing this again. I'm probably actually going to watch anime now to see what actually what goes on. Be sure to let me know if you think I should actually be playing Steins Gate Zero as well because that just recently came out. Or say recently, it's been out a while, I think. Those tips for um yeah. Movie library, anything there? Visual opening, prologue, prologue 2, the Sousa ending, non linear Gainiac. What's that? I'm not going to play that. If you want to look that one up online, that's what it says. What's ARSA? Again, probably another opening which you can probably look up on YouTube. That's the original opening. On which I know and love. Too, I've had that song stuck in my head so long. I'm intrigued to tell you what the actual anime ending is. Maybe not, I very much doubt I'll go for a Sousa her ending because, as cute as she is, she's probably my favourite character in it. Yeah. I do also find it interesting how the actual game is no specific choices you make except in the text messages. And the game somehow reaches an ending through those text messages and that changes things. That is a very interesting concept, isn't it? I think I waffled on long enough. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to delete episode 85 now. Potentially delete it, rename it. I don't know if I'm gonna rename it. If I didn't rename, if I did rename it, the original name was going to be Groundhog Day. Well, this does mean I've got to think what on earth I'm gonna be doing in this slot next. I got a few ideas, but I really thought I was going to be playing this tonight, not something else. So yeah, 
But anyway, guys, uh, this has been an unexpectedly short um, recording because, yeah, I finished it in the first 30 seconds of recording. <laughs> okay, I'd have had two or three lines to click through. But thanks for watching, Steins Gate. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm actually probably going to stream, I think, the next game. At least the first recording session of it. But as ever, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And one last L Psi Kangaroo. Bye-bye.